First, I want to thank you for watching this video and if you are watching it, you are probably in need of something, you probably look for something or probably you're just curious. I also want to point something out from the real beginning. You probably saw a title like How I Hack My Car Navigator System to Work Without a GPS Antenna. Well, it's not just like a hack, it's more like a bypass. I called it bypass because it seemed the most appropriate word for what I wanted to say. However, a few months ago I bought this car. I don't say it's a bad car, I don't say it's a good car. The point is, the car is what I need for now. It has a nice audio system, Cabas Auditorium Tronic with, I think it's Cabas Auditorium Tronic or something like that with six speakers. It has a navigation system. I can connect my phone via Bluetooth. I can receive calls and make calls by the simple push of a button. So it is what I need. But you probably want to hear about navigation system because of the title we formerly talked. Well, let's talk a little about global positioning system or uh, as you know it, GPS. What is very simple this system? This system helps you navigate. The car needs to know your position and according to a map the car tells you where you are and where you go to. Considering this, let's suppose we need some things. We need a signal for a satellite to tell the car the position, so the car knows where it is. Using that signal, the system can tell you on a screen where you are and where you go, or if you reach your destination or how far you are from your destination. But what if you don't have a signal from the satellite? Well, I have an antenna back there on the car roof, the so-called shark fin antenna because of its shape, but it doesn't work. I realized that when I bought the car, so I wanted to buy an antenna, but I let it go and let it go and let it go. So I am without a good antenna or without an antenna that works. So it's just a shape there, it's not a working antenna. The idea is this, is it possible to make the navigation system work without a GPS signal? I think it is. At least it seems it is possible. Let's see how. This car has a navigation system called Carminat Navigation et Communication. I think it's French. Well, I don't speak French, but I don't speak English either. So bear with me here, because what if I would have done this video in my native language, in Romanian? I think a lot less of you would understand what I wanted to say. Well, the car system, it works. It works with a DVD that has maps on it. So the car, let's say so, can read those maps, but it needs information. As we formerly said, the information about the position doesn't come from the satellite because the antenna, the GPS antenna, doesn't work. So how can we make it work? First, what do we need? We need that the car should somehow know its position. I mean, uh, the car should know when it turns right or left or when it goes in the circle. Well, I realized the car knows these things because I saw the map 
on the screen of the navigator system and I saw the map turning as the car was turning, if you know what I mean. So it means this car has a gyroscope that gives to the car computer the information about the rotation, to call, so, to call it so, the rotation of the car. So one thing is sure, the car knows when it turns. What else do we need? We also need to know, or the car needs to know, what distance it goes from one point to another or uh, from a start to finish, whatever uh, uh, you may consider by start or finish. So, does the car know the distances? Yes, it does, because the car computer always tells you how far you went uh, in, a, in a very uh, specific period of time. So, at least I can say we have the information we need. So the car knows those two things. It knows when it turns, it knows the distances it goes. So those informations the car computer can get from the car, from the gyroscope system and from the ABS sensor you have on your wheels. How can we make these things work together with the DVD map? I don't say this will work perfectly or very accurate but it will work and we will use as I said the gyroscope information the sensors ABS sensors information and those two uh, we will uh, plug in to say so or uh, rather we will use those two uh, types of information and with the car navigator menu we will set things so that they will work together but as I said I don't say this is perfect I don't say this is very accurate I did this a few days ago it works but I didn't travel very long distances at least uh, let's say 20 miles or, or uh, 30 kilometers it works I set destinations and I got vocal guidance I don't know if it works for very long distances or so but it works so let's get into the car and see how it's done. Well, here we are inside the car. This is the wheel, I suppose you know that. This is the car navigator screen. This is the screen here. Here you put the DVD with the maps. Here you have the control for the audio system. This is the place where you insert the card and this is some kind of keypad you use for, for the navigator and uh, for the phone you have a lot of information this is the joystick you also use so let's uh, see them all here you have route you have map you have destination back in the menu you go back uh, in the menu here you have the phone settings the info and the settings you also have the light for the screen and the zoom for the screen or for the navigation system Okay, let's start the engine. Okay, let me turn off the radio and the air conditioning because it makes some noise. And let's open the window. Hopefully we'll have some coolness. Well, this is the screen and here we are with the so-called keypad we used to uh, we used to make everything work and how do we have to do it first we press set and rolling rotating in fact and rotating the joystick clockwise we go down in the menu till we get to the navigation we press the joystick and we go again, we go down and down and down till we get to adjust current location. We press again. Now we will have a cross on the screen. I don't know how to call it, cross here, <laughs> cross on the screen that shows your position or what your car think your position is. Moving forward or backward 
or left or right the joystick, you can adjust the position. Well, you just have to press the joystick again. So, you press the joystick and immediately you will have an arrow. It appears an arrow on the screen, a purple-ish arrow, and using the joystick you rotate the arrow right or left and the arrow indicates the position of your car. So, it's best for you to be in an intersection, for example, you position your car in an intersection, you have to know where you are and you do this. You set your position using the joystick and you press the joystick, the arrow appears, you set the position of the arrow according to the position of your car and you press OK. And uh, you have a message something like current location have been saved or something like that. And the position of the car probably latitude, longitude or something like that because we're talking about maps here and global positioning system to say so. Once you have all the settings done, you can go, you can start the car, you can go and you will see that the arrow on the screen will follow your car position. You can try to do this, you can try to to set the destination, as I formerly said, and you'll see that everything will work. But, as I said, I don't know how perfect, how accurate, what information you will get, but you can set the destination and you will have uh, vocal guidance. I hope this will help you somehow and uh, I hope this uh, is something that can be used, at least as a minimum uh, possibility, minimum way to, to use your navigation system, your car navigation system, without having uh, a working GPS antenna.